Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. Hey guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals. This time, me and Mifo, along with Lightfall, were finished, but you will be tuning in for another game, that'll be the last one, for me and Lightfall to be here for the Sixers and the Heat. But first, let's get started off with Boston Celtics and the Bucks. So far, the Celtics are coming in and closing the gap here with a 3-2 of the series here. No, 3-1 of the series, before 3-2. It looks like the Bucks are trying to win the whole thing, but this all that happens to be here, which is a lot that gets there. So anyway, let's see what happens if Game 5 is about to happen things to rally it up. Now let's send you over to the commentators of OJ, Fan, and Silver Spoon. Enjoy the game, folks, and I will be here for the last one, including the post-game show. See you guys later for the last game. And enjoy this game. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. And inside the locker room, everyone trying to lock in. Get mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. The Bucks and Celtics are ready to get things in started. We'll see what happens if the changeup is being occurred. A magnificent, a magnificent view here of Milwaukee, of Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin, to enjoy the view. Well, thank you so much here, there, uh, Sonic Beast. The I will be joining back here for another game as possible here in Game 6, if there's a changeup here. Alley right now, Alley the Force is on the sideline. Let's hey, give it up to her first. Thanks so much, VA. Guys, Giannis trying to keep his edge. He doesn't want to train with other superstars in the summer. He said, quote, my competitive nature is so high. I can't do it. I just know myself. I want to just play for 20 years and then make friendships at the end. Guys? An old school, old school classic out there. Thank you, Alley. So far, I really love to see how this one goes by. I really like that one. And me too. I've always been here so long. Most importantly of all the time, I may do things a lot more happening. The starting lineups are being occurred here as the key matchup is in between Al Horford and Giannis Antetokounmpo. This game is about to be happening here at Pfizer Forum. It's time to let this happen to bring things on. The Bucks and Celtics starting right now, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's Al Wolford covered in in the point forward. Marcus Smart on point guard. Then we have his Jalen Brown in the shooting guard. Jason Tatum in small forward. And Robert Williams in the center. There's a lot of change ups here. A lot of them are just a quick off replacement. On a group of one Wolford. Going right up again. Right to Matthews for three. That goes off the target, and that will be rebounded by Tatum. Tatum right to Brown. Switches up to Tatum. Up and back over is Horford. Horford back to Tatum. Takes a shot up an angle, and makes a shot. Jason Tatum has got his first bucket here in game number five. So strong. A lot of moves in here. Going quickly here for Tatum, and keeping an eye on the pride. Holiday back to Middleton. Jason Tatum on the cover. The screen rejects him off. Middleton almost blocked the pass. Jump ball in between Middleton and Williams. What a choice. This all happens to me sometimes. Right now, inside here in this one, in between the free throw lines, it comes up and the Bucks wins. Three seconds to shoot. Holiday for three. That will be off the targeted range. Horford takes a rebound. This one rolls back here on offense. Smart moves over to Horford. Horford right to Brown. 
rolling over is Tatum. Screen on Williams. Tatum and going. Look out. Oh, he just had it all. Tatum deliver up a dunk. It's now 6 0. This one is definitely a wow looking moment. I don't even believe this one. Oh, the take back in between. Giannis on a good ball. Shows it off. They're now on the board. You feel that the great freak is going to definitely try to take things on here. What a run. I must be smooth here. Maybe a tough one to get up by. Tatum back to Smart. Smart reaches back to Tatum. Shot clock down to five. Horford over Giannis. Rebounded up by Smart. Smart gets his first rebound here in game number five. Horford tries again. With the shot, that's good inside behind the three-point line. And Jason Tatum gets another six. The key of the only one that we are just talking about here so far is that the team has put it up here so far. They have an all-in counter up here with a, with a lot of linear technologies here showing the players how they have. And now a new change up here as Rob Brooke Lopez is checked out and Bobby Portis Jr. is checked back in for game five. Here's Matthews, covered up by Jalen Brown. 2.20 left to play in the first period. Screen, lays it up, and it goes inside. Wesley Matthews gets his first bucket. They're trailing by four. Brown, right into the attack. Brian Tatum, a terrific feed by Brown, and a bucket counting in by Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is going to be trying to be smart at that point. Maybe that's going to be a close-up call. Holiday, rally -oop. And it went off again. Not a good timing. And now this one goes back to Tatum. Tatum back to Horford, rolls over to Brown. Three for Horford. Very literally on the run. And now he gets fired here for the outside range. Smart on Holiday. A minute and a half to go here in the first period. On the Kupo up. Took a little sweep off here. Almost about to slam dunk on someone. It was too much. He just couldn't get there in time. Smart outside. The three ball goes in for Smart. It's 13 4. Now Orford takes the assist here. They're leading it up by nine. Matthews on Brown. A minute left to play in the first period. Holiday on Smart. He finds over to Yon Nakuba. There he goes. The two-pointer connects the three, and they're all back up by seven. They're trailing by seven, of course. My mistake. Wasn't even thinking about that. Smart, back to Horford. He tries to put up a round here on Giannis on the Kupo, deciding not to go for him. Back to Smart. And Williams inside, layup, and it's good. Robert Williams gets the second bucket. And Marcus Smart gets the assist. He's delivering all the time. The pressure gives him up here another best rookie credit shot. And a foul is called on Jalen Brown, his first personal second team foul on Boston. Now new changes are being delivered here for the Celtics and the Bucks. Williams and Vice, along with Derek White, or checked in. And Wesley Matthews is shut down as Allen is shut back in. On the Koopa, on Williams. Trying to fight for it. Ten seconds to go. And a great feed here for On the Koopa. On the Koopa is like pulling up the pressure out there. What a run. White. Three for Williams, very late off target, and that will be end of the first quarter. Great start here for the Boston Celtics, it's 15-8. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this. Lots of pressure out there. We're looking for a key to get there close by. That gray. Yes, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Get off social media. That's it. Just spend time with your family, spend time with your teammate, and just come here and do your job. I think uh, you don't second against yourself. You know, you just go out there and play hard and uh, give everything to the team without thinking about nothing else.
I'm pretty sure uh, it, it looks like that um, Gianza and Akumbo definitely uh, stays in the game right now, contacting him with this confident control. I may have changed about that. And what's this ability out there? It can be a very good one here to get that one and worthy credit. Agreed here. Well, my opinion about him is that he stays confident at every time that he just helps out with his teammate. Also, you can spend time with your family here too on your social medias. Devices, no matter if you're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or you know, anything. The second quarter begins now as the uh, players are all ready to get fueled up. Drew Holiday is in the point guard. There we have, again, is Pat Connaughton here in a small four. Jared Allen in shooting guard. Then across here is Bobby, is Chris Zorja Butka in the center. And on the uh, on the other hand is Jordan Noora in point four. Now here's White. Back off to Williams. Moves over to Fikes. Backing over is Pritchard. Pritchard over Holiday. Watches his rebound and he still doesn't get enough timing. The timing is definitely a quick on set. The situation for him that Giannis was trying to give him a good run. And for Daniel Fice, another player is having some hard time. They need something else to make it quick. Brad Williams up to Pritchard. Rolls it over to White. Over Abaka. And a shot went off too wide. Brown back to Williams. He tries to reset it up. Six on the shot clock. Brown for three. Good on the triple. That one reaches up here for the extension lead here for the Celtics. They really got some good high numbers out there. Well, not to worry about that. It makes a uh, uh, complication as well. Holiday outside. That goes in there. Back in by eight. Here's Pritchard. He brings it over to Williams. Up and over to Fikes. Fikes inside. Takes the shot. Another great angle feed here for Daniel Fikes. They now up by 10. Bucks trail by 10. Oh boy, Connaughton was a slam down there. You gotta keep your eyes on Pat Connaughton. Wow, Pat Connaughton. You can count that one in there. He was delivering himself a big timing, most of all with the skills. Rechecked it by Ibaka. Ibaka really knows the strength. Two dogs in a row for our Connaughton. Timeout call by Boston. Only 2.08 to go. It's 20 to 14. Boston, you really got to go for that one. What a shot here. They got some great players all over the place. I'll give them one. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports of the Conference Semifinals is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, the official vehicle of the NBA. State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to your agent today here at 1-800-STATE-FARM to get a free quote. And by American Express, the official love card of the NBA. So far, the Boston Celtics have only won once here in game number four. But it looks like they're coming back in here in game number five. How does it really come out to be uh, one step in a single time, I guess? Well, in between, it may be a very tough one to give out and it will be credit here. But my position is nothing but to take here. Sometimes it, it does come out near the ending so far. And sometimes it, it may be hard enough to try to go right by it. The attackers are very well often considerably, and it may be a very tough one to keep an eyes on, but not so well enough to give an eyes on if they're looking for open man players to go away from the attack. And a drive, what a saving by Al Horford. Al Horford's got his first bucket, and Derek White with the assist. Up again, for the shooting to Cunnity, and Drew, watch out below, Drew Holiday. Shows his flex. He muscles it across here down on the other side. That's when you want to show things off. What a strong move. -hoo -hoo -hoo. I love that. White back to Williams. Over Brooke. He 
takes a block and it goes off again. Now Holiday on a fast break. Williams on the cover. The screen is up. Drew Holiday delivers it again. Two in a row. They are pushing P right now. You can feel the energy. That is a one Murphy credit that you go for that you did here before. Williams inside. Oh, almost got a little loose here with a dunk, but he holds on tight as for the assist comes up by Derek White. 48 seconds left here in a second in a second quarter of the first half between the shot clock and game clock. Milton can't hit the two. That's not going to be enough here for the gate team to take their time. That may be a very hard one to get by right through it. Tatum reaches up here to Williams. Taking in fee, White over Connaughton. That shot is in good condition here, and Derek White gets his first bucket after Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum was a liver a, a huge successful one here. Most of his ability, he wants to help out his team, and also he wants to take his care on to the next level. Celtics still leading this time, as right now they will hold things up with the ball. They will close the half. Tatum will stop here, and that ends the first half of the game. It's 26 to 18. We'll be right back with you after this. Right now, let's send you over to Rally. Well, Jason, you won't believe going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Uh, for, for most of the half, uh, we were really good defensively. Uh, we let off, put off the gas a little bit, so uh, we got to do a better job. Keep the pedal to the metal, guys. Thank you, Rally. Please stand by for the halftime show. Fourth quarter coming up next. Just an amazing run here so far. And now let's check out the first half of the recap for the Bucks and Celtics. First half statistic board. Well, that's all for now. Let's head you back over to Pfizer.forum. See ya! Just about time right now to get started for the third quarter. Glad you could join us here for tonight. 26 for 18 as Jason Tatum was a hard on pressure. I knew that one because of Jason Tatum was definitely a great player here on offense. He must have takes us his time right now. And after facing with a loss against the New Orleans Pelicans, it all that happened here most of the time. But the board can be a very difficult opinion. I agree with that one. Jason Tatum was delivering his timing ability. He is the he's a smoker. Might be ready for our next uh, energizer to give things up here for the run. Tatum number zero. Jason Tatum gets his throw first to third rebound here in the game. Smart. Back into Tatum. Rolls over to Brown. Brown. Step fade. Rolls back to Horford. And Tatum inside. Goes right around it. It gets off wide. Rolls over to Smart. Back to Tatum. Smart for three. Triple range no good for Smart. Anna Cooper reaching up another rebound. He rolls it in. Step inside. Rebound it up. A solid defensive take here for Robert Williams. Jason Tatum here on the corner of the wing. Now finds off to Williams. Fade back up here on Tatum. And back pass. That goes to Milwaukee ball. Hits the fans out there. Hey, watch out because the ball is flying fast there, fans. Robert Williams is checked out as Dendro Feist is checked back in. And a fantastic mobile one block of Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez delivering up his moment of timing. That's a one heck of a save made. You feel that Brooke Lopez was delivering himself a better opportunity making. And a buck. I 
feel like that Brook Lopez can try to like keep it up on him. Ida Kupo finds a screen for Wesley Matthews. Oh, you take that down! What a jam! For Ida Kupo. They are down by six. Wow, Ida Kupo, you slam it and what you call? Checking out here at the chow moment. Man, what the play? Turn that back over to Horford. Six to shoot and a shot clock. Fights over Lopez. And now misses off the target here. Another miss by Boston. On a Kubo back the other way. Now he finds up to Allen. Faces inside. And a fade laid up. But a floater is good for Allen. He now gets his first bucket here for the game. Excellent feed off here for Allen. Most of the timing is always great, but not too much was happening here. Just a moment of them. Moment of them. And try to like, keep those eyes on the right. Tata with an open look. Three pointer is good. They're backing up in. They lead it by seven. Milwaukee trailing by seven. Lopez and Matthews. Brown. Oh, Allen on smart. Screen for Ida Kubo. Gets Cobb and Cook front. Alley oop and off of the angle. Fires 2 on 1. Allen with the steal. Here we go. On the Kubo. Oh, get it out of here. What a showing reverse drive and dump. And let's look at it one more time. That was a slow cam out there. I don't even see that one. He was running it down like he never did before. What a play this turned out. Indeed it happens. And that was an amazing highlighting game presented by AT&T 5G at the Slam Cam. And ooh, almost went off again as Brook Lopez wants to take his timeout with only a minute and 48 to go. Another bucket for Daniel Fleiss. We'll take a quick break here and we will come back in for the next one. They're off to a great start out there for the first period, and I think the third period is definitely great as it gets. Both new changes here for the Boston Celtics and for the Bucks. As right now, some new changes here. As Bobby Borda Studios checked in, Al Horford switching it over back to Williams, and it's Pritchard on the end, and Derek White here in the shooting guard. All four players are checked out, and all four players are checked in. Check it out, the three-pointer. It's start for the Allen Show. What a show. This is going to be a start for Allen Jim for tonight. Richard up. He counted it one. Fortis Jr. takes his foul. And Richard, what a lucky guy. He's lucky enough that he's going to be showing him for tonight. Awesome drive out there for Richard. And he was delivering himself a big moment like he'd never done before. One shot left. <clears throat> Pritchard makes one in. The Bucks are still looking for an open man streak to try to keep your eyes on the run. And a feed of Boris Jr. Around it, takes it off the flow short. White with the rebound, up to Tatum. Open look to Pritchard. Now he swings it off to Vice. Bounce pass up to Tatum. Tatum up inside, drive, and it went off target again. Got it with the rebound. Now this will be under a minute to play here in the third quarter. He back it back to Allen. Pritchard on him. And this one goes up, and foul is called by Grant Williams. His first first team foul for Boston. It was a lucky enough for Allen to try to make that shot. It's very hard for him to try to keep his eyes on the struggle. Because if Allen was trying to get there in time, well, he should have had a chance here to go right to the free throw. And now, he's ready for it. Allen didn't hit the free throw that time. 
And this one will be on Drew Holiday checking in for Jordan Aurora. As Pat Connaughton and Allen switches it over to small forward and shooting guard. He makes one in. Now it's a 34-28 game. Pritchard up, swings it off to Tatum. And he goes in. Oh, what a jam! Jason Tatum delivers it. He's smooth. He's crushing it. All of a sudden, the Bucks fans are going to be sorry to go for the upset in feelings. It looks like they're coming back in there. Up again, the board is junior. Spin move up. And he's fouled and won! Grant Williams receives the foul, and Bobby Portis will count that bucket in! Wow, that was a ton of emotion out there. You feel like you're jamming out there. What a strong move. Make it go, man. Shooting one now, here for Bobby Portis Jr. This will be coming back here, down by seven. To five. I'm sorry, down to five. And he does one. Milwaukee trail by five. Now he swings it off to White. White swings off to Williams. Up and again, his hand center on his Feist. Goes back over to Butcher. Feist comes in to help the screen, and it gets whipped away. Trying to go get away with the man. Richard, the dry moment, and that will count it in there. Richard gets five points, and it's now a nine point lead for Boston. And blocked by Tatum, that ends the quarter with 38 31. We'll take a quick break here, and fourth quarter is coming up next after this. The fans of the Celtics area are, are on fire. They're looking for game six to come back in there. We'll see how well they do. And right now, let's have a quick view of the State Farm Assist of the game. We're not talking about it all over the place. You can tell from my towel what you're going to see here. That pass was skimming it up here with the feet. And from there, it might be all down. Sometimes he knows he gets a little bit uh, heavy traffic out there and potato man himself. He got a great eye on key. Perfect run for Jason Tatum. And maybe there should be another one for the Bucks too. Fourth quarter's about to play in action. All started and up and we ready to go. Drolley, Garrett Allen, Bobby Portis Jr., Pat Connaughton, and Chris and Serge Ibaka. And a drive starts up here for Grant Williams. He's now on the board. All quiet in three periods. And now he has it all in there. Yeah, quite that time here for you there, Williams. And now you're back in. Misses up with the shot, and it gets to drip drift it. We're a shooter up. Ace a shot, makes it in there. A great feed by Drew Holiday. They're really doing it again. All of a sudden, no time to waste. Jason Tate away over to White. He wants to slow things down a bit to try things again. Richard back to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Williams up and he's fouled by Ibaka. That's not good because that was a very hard one to try to knock things down a little bit. This is the Bucks are getting a little bit anxious out there. And Greg Williams will go back to the free throw line shooting two. He only scored his first two buckets here in the fourth quarter. Let's see how well he does here for next two free throws. The first free throw for Williams is good. Most of the time, the only decades can definitely try to change your mind. Richard and Tatum are checked out, as Brown and Smart are checked back in. I and Kupo want the other team to try to switch things up, with Brooke Lopez and Wesley Matthews. Back to the starting five. And that's the second free throw good for Williams. Now on the good boat. And he's up. Oh! 
Ooh, he knocked down one. Wow, you better feel that one here tomorrow because that will happen again. I have never seen that quite so obviously before. Williams for three, a wide open look, and it's now turning to be a 10 point lead for Boston. He is definitely trying to keep an eye on the rim. Foul again, that's on White, and now it's on Wesley Matthews with uh, two free throws coming up for the Bucks. They're going all over the percentage here for the Boston Celtics and the Milwaukee Bucks here in every period in Game 5. This one has turned out to be one of the bestest and worst things that happened to be here. It can be a very tough one to try to knock things down. And for Wesley Matthews, he's going to try to figure it on his concentration. First free throw, good for Matthews. Now Williams will check out and Al Hofer will check back in. Second free throw for Wesley Matthews is good. Box lead. Box trail by eight. Now for White. He switches up to Smart. Backing over is Derek White. Spines over to Robert Williams. Feeds it off to Brown. Over a backup and around around there by Billington. And he's back up here for the number two. And they're all over the place. Brown has five points, just about three or five to go. And Drew, oh, and misses off here with the shot. The jumper was not a good setup. The designing of the property is was nothing to compare with, but it was very hard to try to like keep an eye on the uh, strength. You're not going to succeed in further if you're going to look for it again. And Brown, another one turned to be a layup and an assist here on the Celtics. He has seven points in the game. Bucks still trailing up here, trying to look for another open man advantage. Trail by 12. All the way up to Ana Kupo. Up to Lopez. Nice feed by Ana Kupo. And now they're back up by 10. They are just trying to get back in the answer. They wanted to win the series, but it looks like it might be too late for them to try to keep an eyes on the run. White. Switch it up in the side. And it's White with another bucket. And Jalen Brown with the assist. They're going all over the place. They're trying to work things up with the run and trying to get right to it. Only two minutes left here for the fourth quarter. Hey, give me the ball! And Oliver was delivering him for another offensive to defensive part of their own. Williams right over to Smart. Smart right to Williams. Backing over is Holford. Moves it back to Smart. Three to shoot. Over on the Kupo. Rebounded up here by Holiday. They're going very well a wide style of their game. It's a very tough one to try to knock things down. On the Kupo inside. Heat off. And Brooke Lopez does it again. What a stoppage on this one. They're coming back in by 10. Oh boy, I don't know what to tell you this one. Brooke Lopez was trying to keep an eye on the prize. Williams around Matthews, foul, and it'll be off the target. As Wesley Matthews has already picked up his first second team foul on Milwaukee. Looks like Derek White was going for a going for a look here in the free throw line. Might be doing it for tonight. The Boston Celtics are leaving up here with the uh, free throw free throw attempts. And there are guys with a lot of stuff here to try to knock things down. The first free throw sent it in. And right now, Jason Tatum will be checking again for Jalen Brown. He is all finished here for game five. Uh, 
And that will hit the second free throw for White. Clock down approaching here on the last minute left to play in the fourth quarter. Anna Cooper on Orford. Right around him. Anna Cooper with a miss. And what a strong move here for a fourth low pass down by 10 with under a minute to go. White up the feed by Tita. Tatum back over to Smart, back to White. White's fighting back to Williams, moves it over to Tatum. Tatum at Faye, he delivers a countage, and that will puts it back in for Tatum for 13 points. He's streaking everywhere, that's all that counts out there. A much moment of time being appreciated like he did before. On a Kubo on Horford, up again, rebounded up. And a strong D by the two players of Williams and Orford. They're trying to stop their run. Smart back to Williams. Williams right over to White. White back to Williams. Ten seconds left. The clock is winding down, and that will do it for game five. Celtics takes the win, 55-43. They're coming in tight, 3-2 in the series. It's a tough one, to be honest with you. The Celtics are in too long of a range. It looks like they destroyed the Bucks here in Game 5. Or gotten crushed here in three games. But now, they are all back here. And I think we can see them tie the series up. I have been proving it so. It may be very tough one to keep your eyes on. And that should do it here. OJ, paintbrush of the, of the game. This was like a tough one matchup here for the Eastern Conference in the first game. Now we close things off to Son of Beast for the post-game show. Me, Van, and Silver Spoon are gone. Thank you for watching, and have a good night. All right, thank you guys very much here. A lot of great authority here. This was all that happened that did turn out to be like they didn't hear it before. So it's time to bring now the three star players of the game. Number three we have here is Giannis Antetokounmpo, 12 points. Four rebounds, two assists, and four dunks. Tremendous gaming like he does here before. Number two, it all has dust time turned out, but one thing happens the year before, and we know that one. There's one thing that could go for another one. This one now, it goes to Jalen Brown. Seven points, three assists, and it just went 15 minutes on the court. Only 13 performance run that did turn out his best. And number one, Jason Tatum, the New Balance player of the game. 13 points, four rebounds, three assists, one steal, and a block. And two dunks has performed. Along with 19 performance on his overall, he has done an outstanding run here for game five. And I think game six can be a series tied if they wanted to give it all. Well, we're going to see what they can do. So that should do here for this game. If you're joining here for the Heat and the Sixers, it's all coming up next here after this intermission is finished. So, thank you, Knight. Thank you for watching for the, the night of the Eastern Conference semifinals of the Bucks and Celtics. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. This has been a presentation of the first game of the Bucks and Celtics. Have a good night in Milwaukee for Fearing the Deer and Bleed Green of Boston.